Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at the Long Beach Comic Expo, and I've got I've got an amazing voice actor with me. His his name is Greg Berg. Hi, Greg. Well, hi, Flick. Hi, nice to meet you. Same here. Wow, I've so, never met anybody purple before. Really? Except this one guy that was going. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is he okay? Is he oh, okay? I, I think so. Okay, <laughs> everything worked out. Oh, good, good, good. All right, so, so Greg here, you might, you might recognize Greg's. Uh, you were Fozzie, and Baby Fozzie. Well, from yeah. the and from uh, from Jim Henson's Anna, Little Muppet Monsters, Fozzie Bear, right, right, Muppet right? Babies and Monsters, yeah. and Jim Henson's Muppet Babies. Oh. The little, little. It's two off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so what's the difference between the Baby Fozzie and the Big Fozzie, the adult Fozzie, the voices. Well, How do you get I was that? the voice of Baby Fozzie right. based on Big Fozzie. All right. When it was in the movie Muppets Take Manhattan, there was a segment where the baby showed up oh, all right. in a dream sequence. <laughs> and uh, they got the idea, let's animate this into a TV show. And yeah. they figured, well, we'll need some voices to match mm -hmm. the grown Muppets as babies. Okay. So they put a call out as show business does, and I gave them my interpretation of what Baby Fozzie would sound like. Oh. And I kind of made him very tight in the back of the throat, <laughs> and still full of wonder. And the waka 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 doll, he still did that. Now grown up Fozzie yeah. says waka waka, so right. he kind of grew out of the third waka. <laughs> oh, okay. So when he's a kid, it's it's. Waka, <coughs> sorry. Let me just try this. Uh, oh, you don't uh, get the job. Sorry. Uh, it's, uh, waka, waka, waka. And then uh, the uh, grown-up Fozzie is a uh, waka, waka. Well, I, I, at this age, I can also do grown-up Fozzie, who is really uh, out there and in, in show business. Like, wow, this is my life. Wow. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm not as good as you. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, you're good. You're good. Wow. Okay. So that's the difference between baby Fozzie and and grown up Fozzie. Man, that's cool. Okay. And you run some records too. Um, you run uh, what? Rocket to the Stars and uh, music is everywhere. They've actually yeah. taken songs from our show and put them onto record albums. Wow. And, uh, What's it like singing in character? I kind of get into the characters that I do. All right. Now, I'm more famous for the Muppet Baby characters I've done, but I've been heard for the last 35 years as various other characters in film, voice matching, yeah. uh, just original characters, and uh, so I, that's been my life. So as I get into a character, I become that character and wow. perform that way. Okay, so. okay. Because uh, when, when I do voices, sometimes I, sometimes I hear voices, sometimes I do voices, <laughs> and um, it, it's really hard to sing in character. Yeah. For me, it is. Yeah. Well, we did have to sing. Uh, I was not a professional singer at the right time, on. but with great training from Janice Liebhart, oh. who was our voice coach All right. and singing coach, uh, wow. she got the best out of me. That's and great. That's yeah. how we got to sing. I also sang as Scooter, another character I did on the Whoa. show. Whoa. Can, can you give us a little bit of Scooter? Well, First, there's Baby Scooter. Right, baby. baby Scooter was more like, uh, hey, uh, this here is a little squeaky scooter, and uh, I <laughs> work on the computer a lot, so I have a little intelligence behind me. <laughs> wow. That's and as great. he grew up, but I, I've never done the grown up scooter voice, uh, I had watched video of okay. the guy that did voice for Scooter, and uh, it was more like way up here saying, hey, uh, Miss Piggy, you got five more minutes to be on stage, and he was the stage manager on right, the right. Muppet yeah. TV show. Yeah, on the Muppet show. Yes. Well, that's great. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, would you mind, um, okay, so if I sing a little bit of, uh, like, You Are My Sunshine, maybe a couple of a couple of lines, could you do a little yes. bit of a maybe uh, Baby fuzzy? Sure. Okay, let's try that. Okay, uh, one, a two. You know what to do. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You, you make, make me, me happy, happy when skies, skies are gray. You never know, oh, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. 
This is great. I, I, I'm really impressed. Like I said, I find it really hard when I try to do voices to sing in character. So you actually do other voices too? Oh, I do, I do. Do you yeah. have a popular one? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh. Um, I, uh, well, I try to do Robert De Niro. Oh, really? Yeah. With or without a gun? Um, uh, without a gun. Okay. I left my gun at home. <laughs> ah. Uh. Ah. 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 <laughs> Robert De Niro kind of doing uh -huh. Al Pacino. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 right. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's my, that's my specialty. One imitating, character imitating imitate another. Yeah, yeah. I channel characters. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay, let's turn channel. Okay. Gilbert Godfrey. You know who Gilbert Godfrey yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. I will channel him for you right, right now. Right. So, what does it feel like with a hand up your... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I lost him. I, I don't know. <laughs> wow, just in time, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, Affleck. 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 Well, there was some <laughs> yeah. trouble there. Yeah, well, definitely. Yeah, didn't quite get that right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, can you, I heard you do, uh, let's see. I heard you do a mean De Niro, and uh, yeah. I actually was the, a voice replacement for Robert De Niro when they mm. were cleaning up one of his movies on TV. Oh. This happens occasionally where they want to air the movie on TV, and he might have had some curse words here or there, oh. and they can't do that. So they either get the actor or somebody who sounds like him as best as they can right. to replace that voice. And so, yes, in the movie Heat, which aired on a network one year. Oh, uh, I, I love was, I was doing Robert's voice covering up the dirty words. <laughs> but wow. as other people in, did their impression of Robert De Niro, yeah. I was actually doing the voice of Robert De Niro as I would interpret him talking normally <laughs> without oh, doing a character. Did you talk to me as uh, Robert De Niro? Basically, you know, some people like to uh, do the face and all that. I don't do faces. <laughs> I do voices. So, you know, he says, uh, get the muck in this car right now. <laughs> Hurry up. Get out of the way. You friggin' whatever. You know? So, so whatever those words were, I can't uh, even repeat at this point. That was great. But, uh, no, I've, I, I've been heard in, uh, doing voice matching over the last 35 wow. years, actually. A hey, big one was Harvey Keitel I done. Really? Yes. For the people who will know Harvey. That's why oh, yeah. I bring it up that Harvey's often. great. But yeah. uh, I, a little bit of Harvey? I related with Harvey because like uh, I'm from Brooklyn myself. And I was picking up a little nuances and the little accents that oh, nice. came with the voice. <laughs> and uh, they used me uh, in various situations. Oh wow! All the movies that he was in. Okay, okay. Hey, are you uh, are you at all thirsty? Because uh, I got some galactic grape. Oh yeah. my goodness! That yeah. goes way back. That was one of my first commercials that yeah. I was heard in. That was my favorite. By the way, that was my favorite flavor, galactic grape. It was for the yeah. Good Buddies soft drinks. Yeah, We're Good Buddy really fruit drinks. Yeah, fruit drinks because there was no bubbles to it. Yeah. I was galactic grape, <laughs> and he was. I'm Galactic Grape. And, you know, very peppy yeah. and. Uh, I'm Galactic Grape. Working yeah, and and you're purple too. So yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Same color of <laughs> Mr. Grape. <laughs> oh, I hear you do a couple of uh, presidential voices. I have been hired by Oliver Stone. No. To, it was kind of interesting. Oliver Stone needed a voice for the U.S. history. Uh, Oliver Stone's U.S. history. Or, uh, Untold like history of the United States? Well, that's the full title. Yes, yeah. the <laughs> correct title. And uh, this was some time ago, so that's the memory for titles oh, yeah, yeah. left me. Yeah, but uh, the call went out to do Reagan or Jimmy Carter, what you can do. Yeah. Well, I said, I think Ronald Reagan is pretty easy for me to do. Uh, somebody tell me who I am, please. <laughs> and I, I laid it out there uh, with the dialogue that was given. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get a call. Yeah, I also yeah. gave a try for Jimmy Carter. Mm -hmm. And I thought Jimmy Carter was more like this. Uh, he was wow. that Georgia accent and everything like that. Yeah. But I didn't think I was as good doing Jimmy as I was doing Ronald. And uh, I get good. the call. Well, thank you. I, I 
got the call for doing Jimmy. Mm. So in that particular episode, it's Jimmy Carter's voice and some other generals from the past. Oh, that's really cool. That's neat. That's part that's really of the job. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some days I'll wake up, I don't know if I'm going to be a talking bear or <laughs> a talking yeah. U.S. Or, figure. Or a talking dog. Yeah, like Huckleberry Hound. Now, Huckleberry Hound's a big, long-time character. Yeah. I had to... Well have, established. Well established. And... Uh, How does it feel stepping into those shoes and uh, matching that voice? It was a, a true honor to be hired for that role. It was the role of young Huckleberry Hound oh. in a takeoff from Hanna-Barbera's cartoons, which was called Yo-Yogi. Oh, okay, it was okay. a show about uh, the Hanna-Barbera classic characters as teenagers or young adults. All right. And I had studied with the great Doss Butler, who created all the wow. Hanna-Barbera characters. Yeah. And uh, when the time came, they wanted a young version of those characters and I gave them my idea of what mm. I think I did could you, sound like. Did you have to sing the song Clementine? Actually they included that in one of the episodes <laughs> just to keep it true to character but uh, so so at the time Dawes was maybe in his 60s, 70s okay. and uh, here I was 30s, 40s and, right. and uh, so my voice was naturally younger than what they were looking for. So I gave him my car, this ass Huckleberry Hound, and I'm just an old uh, hound dog here. <laughs> oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine. <laughs> just as I remember it. <laughs> well, great. I was hired for the part, and we did the show. <laughs> wow, that's so fun. Oh, man. Wow, oh, Greg. Well, it was so nice talking to you. Well, you too. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you for All right. your time. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, can, can, can we get a little bit of baby Fozzie to take us out? Wow, well, Fozzie just says to everybody, thanks for watching, and waka, waka, waka. <laughs> what? <clears throat> waka, waka, waka. Oh, I'll keep practicing. <laughs> Good job. Oh, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> Or can uh, you do a whole sentence like it? Uh, uh, let's see. Everybody can do that. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, uh, you've been watching the Nerd Soapbox Show. Waka, waka, waka. Well done. Oh. Wow, that means a lot coming from the baby Fozzie himself. Oh, Thank you. Good nice meeting you. Oh, nice meeting you. I get one more question, okay? Sure. Have you, did you ever meet Jim Henson or uh, Frank Oz? Actually, I have. I don't know if I can actually show you a copy of a photo of that, if it'll show up no. at all. No, it's on a phone. But I keep it on my phone just That's really for cool. memories. And here we go. Wow. Now, Jim would be placed about here, but oh, the over here, okay. dropped. But There's Frank. Frank is there behind yeah. me, and this is Fozzie <laughs> meeting Fozzie. And that's you in the middle right there. That's me. Yeah. Wow. And then I wasn't furry enough, so I. Uh, <laughs> but there we were. Wow, that's great. But did uh, Frank give you any tips for Fuzzy's voice? Actually, we didn't talk about that because uh, we never got around to talking about developing the character. Oh. The characters were already established and auditioned with, in the way we did it. Uh, the, the whole cast had to recreate various characters, one characters. Wow. So. Uh, Jim did have some control uh, with the, what he felt should be done throughout the show. Right. So if there were any notes, we'd get them from Jim himself. Whoa. But uh, we didn't hear anything like, you know, oh, tweak this or do that. You know, All right. he, he consulted with the uh, director and writers, and that's how the show developed. Oh. All right. Well, thank you. My pleasure. Good seeing you. All right. Well, this was Flick from the Nerd Soapbox, and uh, we're at the Long Beach Comic Expo. Let's see who else we could find. Wow. Gee, thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. Yeah. All right. And uh, we're pretending like we're talking now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. There are a lot of people here today. Yeah, there are. They're going to find some